Hey guys, welcome back to Snapshot Survival here. I have been in the end for quite a long time, probably a good half hour or so now, and I've just been doing nothing but walking around um, because I've been trying to find a place, you know, an end city. And I have gone far. Uh, you can see I've gone really far here. My coordinates are way out here, and I have built some bridges. I left myself here because I was building dangerous bridges, because I basically explored all the close islands, and I shot some portals, some interpols to get to some close islands, and then there's some far islands now, which um, I've gone out to. And when I got to the second one, I could see something in the distance, which I'm pretty sure is an end city. So we are going to go explore it. Unfortunately, Skaden is not here, but I'm not going to wait for him because I'm not going to wait like two or three days until he gets back. I'm sure we'll find another one if we go another direction a long ways. And I'll let him go ahead and do all of that. So I'm going to talk about everything with the in-city when we get there and all of the new stuff. And it's a part of the snapshot. see how far this was and how hard this is to really traverse this place if you don't have one in that first giant island then you have to oh gosh what do I do here nope awesome <laughs> that was like oh what do I do Okay. I haven't seen any Endermites yet, despite all of the Endermen and all of the teleporting we've done. None. No Endermites. There it is. There is an End City way off in the distance. And the good news is we do have a ship. We do have a ship. And the ship is what doesn't... I don't think that spawns in every city, or at least that's what the wiki said. But this is the city. It looks actually kind of small. It's just one complex of buildings. It looks like the main, the ground building only has buildings going off of it on one side. So this is made out of end stone, or made out of end brick and purple blocks. All three types, the blocks, the stairs, this are all four types, the slabs and the columns. And those are the blocks you make out of cooking these, which we'll do when we get back into the area. There's also banners on the side of them that are purple and black. There's the ship that we're going to eventually get into. Um, and then you'll see the end rods on that as well, which are the special uh, little torches from the end here. Oh gosh. Sometimes they just aggro at you and it's like, what the heck? Um, the windows are purple stained glass, so they really look really neat. There's the banners up there. And there is a new mob that is in this. And I wonder if we'll encounter one right outside the front door of this puppy. Okay, first of all, screenshot of, yep, there is one there. See it? A shulker. It hits you and it gives you the levitation effect for a certain Oh gosh, nope. For a certain period of time, I have levitation. And it'll literally keep lifting you up and up and up until it drops you when it expires. Which is fine if you're under a lift, but if you get lifted all the way up there and then fall, you'll take serious damage. Now you can apparently hit those things. They track you and you'll see the nice little lines that they track you. And you can apparently hit those and kill those guys that are tracking you. Which is good but you can also kill the shulkers directly um, I'm gonna kill the ones right out front I'm gonna leave some because you can move them for some cool effects but I'm gonna kill most of them I don't believe they have any drops right now so maybe I shouldn't kill them because they don't have drops at the moment so we're gonna just go ahead and sprint in here as you can see they're fighting at each other now you can see they peek their little heads out there they're and then they blend in with the blocks pretty good kill each other yeah they're fighting each other look at that oh 
I can explore this by floating around. Some of these rooms might actually have them in here. Okay, so now we've gotten to the first room here. Now we have a tower to climb. It's parkour. Now, sometimes there's shulkers that you can use to help float up. But otherwise, you actually have to do some pretty nifty parkour. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. But you do have to do it, and if you fall, you will die. I'm going to go ahead to the top of this one before we go out on that ledge. Hmm. Interesting. I won't actually be able to get... Oh, gosh. We're going to do that. I'm going to kill him. Okay, slayed the shulker. I didn't want to get stuck with him. I'll leave the two down at the bottom. Now be careful that there's not any shulkers out here, but I'm going to collect the end rods just to take a couple back with us. I'll leave some because I'm sure Skaden will want to explore it. And I won't take any banners. Or maybe I'll punch these. I'll take these two banners with us, just to show that we've been here. Okay, so no chests up here. Again, the main thing I'm looking for here is beets, uh, because they have a really high chance of spawning in chests in end cities, and then a really low chance of getting them in villages. And since we didn't get them in a village, I couldn't find a village, I would hope that we can find one here. All right, so this is, again, a very small building, but right, we've got shulkers here. Ooh, I'm shooting each other there. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's break. That's those breaking. They make that sound effect when they hit the wall or you break them there. Okay, so nothing down. Yeah, there's nothing below this. I just wanted to check that out. Okay, so we have to go up. I love this music. It's like a combination of all of the actual music in the game, just like distorted. Okay, as you can see here, no shulkers, no chests, still no chests. Okay. Okay, so instead of, we're going to go up to the top again, just like before. Instead of going to the end ship. Again, you have to break these to like get your way out of here. Oh crap. I guess he needs to go. No XP or no mob drops yet. I assume there might be something from that soon. But We'll have to go find more if that's the case. I've never made banners, actually. So let me just make sure... I'll just go ahead and grab these. I'll leave the rest for... I'll get do the same that I did on the other tower there. Alright, well, we're going to go there. And hopefully, there. I know there's going to be chests in the ship for sure. It's a shame there was nothing in here, though. shulkers here. Alright. Ender Pearl. Moment of truth. Awesome. Oh gosh. Getting attacked. Dang. Wow, that tracked me all the way in here. Those things are pretty good. Alright, so this is typical. When you get in here, there will be a brewing stand. It will have two potions of instant health 2 inside of it. And the brewing stand. 
down here. See, we have a shulker there, but I don't care because I'm not floating away in here. Nothing here. We have obsidian floor of the ship, some pillar stuff here. Iron floor, iron blocks down there. Little holes there in the ports for the sides of the ship. God, they're non-stop. This was a beacon, but it was just for testing. They've replaced it with a jack-o'-lantern. I assume they might put something else there instead, but for now it's a jack-o'-lantern. There used to be a beacon that would shoot this purple here and make a nice purple beam up the top, but they since removed that, unfortunately, because um, beacons, you know, you're supposed to get another way. Um, so there's iron blocks there, and then, of course, we've got the chest. Let's see what we've got. Six iron ingot, diamond horse armor, protection four, unbreaking three. Wow. And then this chest. Ah, oh, man. Protection three, depth strider three, silk touch one. Efficiency three, silk touch one, unbreaking three, and silk touch one. So really good enchantments on these, but unfortunately, no beat seats. I'm not taking anything, just in case... I won't take anything until Skatem might uh, Skatem least knows about this here. Okay, there's one on the front of the ship there. Dragon heads up there. I am going to go ahead and climb. Oh gosh. All right, no chest. Dragon head is out front. There's a shulker over there. Ooh. And I want to go run to the front of the ship. I might have to go kill that guy. Whoops. Dang, no beet seeds. I guess I'll have to go explore more then. Dang it. There's still one fine. There must be one like on the front. Then here is the dragon head. I guess I will take that back with us. Um, I guess I'll leave. I guess we're going to go hunt for another one, so maybe I'll just take this and then, you know, tell me. Oh, you only have to punch him once to break him. Hmm. I don't really need any of this stuff right now. This is just nothing special. Those will be useful when we go to hunt the other place. I'll tell Mitch, and I'll ask him, and I'll see if he'll text me back before he goes into surgery tomorrow. What he wants me to do. But I got the dragon head, which you can wear. It's huge. As you can see, it's massive. Now, when you do, we'll take a look at it, I guess. Let's place it down. Now, if you were to power this with a redstone, it would move its mouth open and close, which is really kind of neat. But I guess we'll go ahead and at least take this back with us as proof that we did make it here. So I guess we have to go look for more because there's no beet seeds, which is really upsetting. Whoa, I barely made it on that. That almost was a fall to my death. Okay. Well, there's some shulkers to come back for them when they get better. Um, I marked the coordinates of this. So we're going to go ahead and probably head back. A little disappointed about how small this one is, and there's no chests in these other rooms. There's only chests in the end ship, which did not have beats. That's all I really cared about was the beats. Oh, those two killed each other. 
Hmm. Well, regardless, I need to head back and bring some of this stuff back with me. So I guess I will start the journey back and we'll see how far away we really are. So I'll probably record again when I get back into the house, but this might have been enough for a whole episode. Maybe not quite long enough for a whole episode. But there's lots around here. Okay. All right. All right, guys, after dying a few more times, I did make it back to the base. So I'm just going to dump some of this stuff in here. Let's see here. I want to show off real quick the last stuff from this new place in the end, and I'll save the lingering potions and some other stuff to do later with Skadim. But I just wanted to show this stuff here. Oh, my iron from before. So if we go ahead and cook the chorus fruit, as you will see. Let's see. This will go in here. Alright, so you see this makes popped chorus fruit. And when we get four of those... I guess I can also. So there's the dragon head, very cool, nice and big. So you get redstone, then power it. You see its mouth opens and closes, which is pretty neat. All right, now that we got popped chorus fruit, four together, you get four purple blocks. And then of course you can make those into purple stairs. And then as you can see, we have purple slabs that you would make like that. And then you can of course make purple pillars. So all of those blocks we made then. Um, here's the coarse flower that I guess I can plant on an end stone. This big thing, and this will slowly grow up in a whole bunch of different directions, and it'll go from white to completely, yep, it'll go from white to completely purple when it's done. And you can harvest these for the seeds. It may grow more, it may not, or you break the whole thing. So we'll let that grow. And we can farm some of this. I guess I'll let a whole stack cook. I've got plenty of stacks of this stuff. Um, but yeah, just got a bunch of tools. This stuff to build with. We'll have to expand the house and the storage room and stuff here. But... Uh, yeah. I guess I could. Let's see. There is a bug right now where you cannot. You can put normal potions back in here to turn into splash, but you can't put splash back in. Uh, to turn into lingering, which is something that I might want to work on. Um, I guess I'll take a dragon's breath here just to test this out. We've got three potion of strength here. Just normal, long, extended potion of strength. If I add dragon breath to it, well, I guess I can't do that then. Um, maybe because it has to be normal. Let's try it with... Um, you know what? I'll just save that for another episode. I'll have to look that up. I haven't messed with that at all. 
I think this is it for this episode of exploring the end city. Next time, um, while we have some working on the house, and there'll probably be another C or D snapshot this week with updates and bug fixes, and then I'll show the potions off. And um, yeah, probably be heading back to the nether and the end and the wilderness here just to keep gathering resources and build ourselves up. We did good progress tonight. It was a lot of fun. I just want some beats. I really want some beats. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out some more Minecraft, why not check out my Sky Factory 2 Let's Play with Zerthig and Necker by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to see something else, you can check out my Eidolon Let's Play that I'll be finishing this summer by clicking here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter down below. And then if you'd like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.